No, apparently. Uh, you haven't been told about this, perhaps. But indeed, uh, all the documents and the backing from Illuminati groups, even the Vatican, is backing a man called Joseph Gregory Hallett as the rightful King of England. And uh, he will be called, according to them, King John. I believe King John the Third will be his title. And what's going on, you may ask? Uh, you may have heard about this. You may have uh, already saw that uh, the House of Windsor is in fact a, a bastard house. In fact, that it has no backing uh, in the royal records. Somehow, uh, they got in uh, due to some kind of a technicality. Um, back in, I think it was uh, Richard III. We've done videos about this before. But basically, in Leicester, uh, the king that was dug up in the car park and all that was the rightful king of England. Uh, but somehow... Going back to about that period, around about the, I believe, the 12th, 13th century, um, what we know today is the House of Windsor got in because, uh, but they're, they're not actually a valid uh, li line because I think a uh, certain queen got, preg <coughs> got pregnant after a king had gone uh, maybe to Spain or somewhere. And uh, she had a child, something like over 13 months after the king left. Which uh, suggests that obviously it wasn't the king that made her, made her pregnant. See? So the, there has been, believe it or not, uh, there has been big wigs as it were, uh, royal families, even the Vatican has been stirred. Uh, by this information. Now the rightful, the rightful king of uh, England and Great Britain, for that matter, uh, comes from a line uh, which uh, this family was last uh, known to stay in Ayrshire, in Scotland. They also now reside in Australia, the same as. Uh, Gregory, uh, Joseph Gregory Hallett also resides in Australia. But the rightful king of England is a man called uh, Michael Hastings. So actually a man called Michael Hastings. Now you can check the records out, check the lineages out. Uh, there's a man called, uh, uh, well, the guy who played Baldrick was Tony Robinson. You know, he made, he made a documentary about all this and uh, he went down to Australia to approach uh, King Michael the First, but he didn't want any part of it. He didn't want, uh, basically, he's settled there, he's married there for, you know, he's got grandchildren. Um, the guy just didn't want any part of it. Now, you might ask, why would, the, why would a, an Illuminati family like the Windsors be considered to be replaced? I mean, just what's going on within the Windsor household, we know that uh, Prince Charles has really been running the 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 crown or the throne, as it were, uh, behind the scenes for at least 10 years. Like, officially, the Queen sort of handed it over several years ago. I think we did a video about it about a couple of years ago when I was in Belgium. Uh, the Queen was just basically saying that Charles was indeed sort of officially running things and so on. Uh, had dreams about Prince Charles, by the way. When I got saved, the Lord showed me a lot about Prince Charles and him and Bill Gates, by the way, are very much behind the New World Order. Now, a satanic family like that, that of course, if they were forcefully um, thrown off the, the throne of England, in the Commonwealth, then how many countries, including Canada and 
many other countries have arrest warrants out for Queen Elizabeth and just about all the royal family. Um, so will Satan allow this to happen? It's very questionable. I can see how perhaps uh, they would want it to happen because they would literally, um, th 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 they could perhaps even, you know, the, the popes and what have you, the Antichrist could control this little regional king. Uh, even, and, I, and I know that the Jesuits in so on control uh, the throne of Great Britain. And there are other power factions that, uh, obviously the Rothschilds, said to have even married into the to the House of Windsor. And it's them who are, who are the real power behind the UK, so it doesn't really matter what puppet they put in there. Um, but you can imagine all, like overnight, all the, the the head of state taking off the money because they, they want a cashless society. So in a, in a lot of ways, you know, the, a new king um, of, the, of, of England would sort of benefit the um, the cause of this new world order, cashless society, um, just pure regional power, where the ten kings are, are the puppets of uh, the Antichrist. Of course, one of these kings would be the, would be the throne of, of, of England. Um, but, you know, obviously it, it would put that, that house well in danger of you know, a lot of secrets apart, you know, obviously they, they, they wouldn't come out with uh, all the all the human beings they've tortured and murdered and eaten. Of course they're not going to admit something like that. But if that did happen, if, if, if such a thing did happen, then obviously the authorities could go in to certain uh, grounds, you know, Hollywood Palace, Buckingham Palace, dig some stuff up and maybe find certain things that uh, they don't really want the authorities to find. I'm not really sure if Satan would allow that or not. It, 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 it does like to take care of his own, doesn't he? Um, now, as far as uh, the events go in the United States, the equivalent of that is obviously the uh, Democratic Party, wh where we have the equivalent of Jezebel. Um still waiting on the wings. Reports of uh, this woman, now I know when she was running for office the last time, Hillary Clinton, that, you know, she would, her head would, she should go off in little fits. People would wonder um, if it was her and then they'd take pictures of her again and, and her face would, it would seem like she was an old woman but when she was out in the public, her face was all smooth like a, like almost like a teenage girl. Now there's been reports that um, due to their satanic ties, that uh, she was responsible for, in fact, murdering uh, a teenage girl and using her face as a mask. And there's, there's reports about, I don't know if you've seen that, but um, literally uh, ripped, a, ripped a girl's face off while she was still alive, drank the blood. And, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating, by the way. If you actually read the full report of what happened, um, it's almost like a demon just literally approached that young girl and demonically ripped her face off and somehow merged it into their own and watched, and, and drank the blood and watched the girl die all at the same time. If you actually read the report, it's, it's more supernatural than the way I'm describing it. So what I'm saying is, does Hillary Clinton and does these families have the backing of Satan do they go up to some supernatural, wicked things to hold on to power? Of, of course they do. Now, also what we're seeing, uh, a lot of people have been I mean, a little bit unimpressed with, um, um, as, as I say unimpressed, you know, you know that um, so far uh, the President of the United States is, is one of the most successful in history, especially especially if you count the days that we're in and the impossible circumstances that they took over the presidency. He's financially, before the lockdown, the United States um, had made up 
I think it's certainly billions or even trillions of the deficit that um, Obama left behind. But if there's a push for the arrest of Clinton and, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton and, you know, because of the Benghazi thing and all the rest of it, if it's a serious inquiry, arrests actually happen, Obama's arrested, obviously the, the, the elite or the Illuminati and the powers that be will seriously push for, um, they will push very, very hard for, for a nuclear war. That's what will happen. Um, that's what we're playing with, guys. We're literally, literally fighting Satan's people. And, and the people that are fighting Satan's people themselves are far from perfect individuals. Far from perfect. Occasionally you hear uh, some uh, individuals in the other side, you know, uh, the satanic elite, you hear some of them repenting and coming to the Lord. It's very few of them, very few and far between. The ones that do escape tend to only last maybe a few years maximum and then get killed, get murdered. But... Um, at what cost? Because if, 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 if this obviously, the New World Order is allowed to actually take place, you can see how bad it is now. Right now it's a picnic to what it actually, what it actually will be if these people officially get into power. So anyway, um, tell me your, your thoughts about this King John guy, King John the Third. Um, he does seem to have the documents, he does seem to have the backing, even of the Vatican, which is a big thing. Uh, the, the Windsors have literally vacated Buckingham Palace for since before Easter, since ar around the time of the lockdown, they vacated Buckingham Palace. It's very, very strange. In fact, um, are they in Balmoral? Uh, are they in Edinburgh? Probably most likely they're in Edinburgh somewhere. Or, but then again, they could be there. They could be in some underground base as well. You know, there's a lot of underground bases they can just go to the drop of a hat. Um... But this is serious business. This this guy, King John, could literally be taking the throne within the next, say, 12 months. And during that time, we're, we're obviously going to see a big push uh, to, to, to the New World Order. Um, and who's been pulling the strings? Obviously, Pope Francis, um, who, who's a Jesuit. And obviously, the Jesuits do or are in... Uh, key positions, including pre President Trump is actually Jesuit trained as well. A lot of people don't really take that into consideration. Um, that doesn't mean to say he's going to be fighting for the New World Order, which he certainly doesn't. Um, he, he, he isn't. I mean, you can definitely say he isn't fighting for that, that cause. Uh, but, you know, obviously if, if he digs his heels in and really tries to really tries to pull America back um, to being a sovereign nation again. And you've, you've got literally thousands of Nazis as well um, in the CIA. And so people talk about the FBI as well. Um, again, just taking the orders from the top, which is not, which is not the president of the United States. The top, the top is actually the, the Vatican. You know, from, from the Pope, from the Jesuits. All of them seem to be puppets of, of the Jesuit order, including the Pope himself as a Jesuit. Um, so that's really what's happening. I mean, and this, 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 this King John as well also could be tied in. We don't really know so much about him, to be honest. But I think it's possible they could push to put him on the throne of England. Now, what will happen already? The Queen, by the way, is... She's not officially relinquished the throne, but there is a lot of confusion about it. Uh, probably because there's a lot of arrest warrants out for them. Uh, I do believe, as I said, Prince Charles and Bill Gates and all that are, are very much behind uh, the push for the New World Order. What will happen to the, the House of Windsor again is anybody's guess. They could be arrested, some of them questioned. Uh, but more than likely, they, they got leverage, they got power, that they're able to evade that. And I still think that Prince Charles will, will come out in some official capacity in the future because he's been behind a lot. He's been behind a, an awful lot. 
of what's, of what's been going on, gay marriage. You know, he's, he's been, if, in case you didn't know, by the way, he's been photographed with uh, boys on numerous occasions, numerous occasions. He is gay, by the way. So again, it does tie into a lot of the things written about in Daniel, the book of Daniel. Uh, the Antichrist having no regard for women. Of course, we know the Pope, what, what they're all about. <laughs> the, you know. Uh, but we would, again, would be more surprised about what, what goes on in the Vatican as well. Did you know that every single Pope has a lineage? In other words, they have a family. They're allowed to breed. They're allowed to have children, which you're never told about. Every Pope that's on the throne of the Vatican, they are allowed to take concubines, take wives and procreate. I never told about that, but that actually does happen in the Vatican as well. That's how you, it is a kingship. The Vatican is a kingship and it's exclusive to just a handful of families, Italian, if you like, uh, mafia, if you like, families. Um, I, think there's a, I think there's at least six of them. Six, six families that control things in, in that region, you know, Latin families. They control the mafia and control who, who, which Pope sits on the throne and all that stuff. As we know, what happens in the West, you know, the, 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 a lot of the power structure in America, they've got to be tied to the throne of England and all that stuff. So that's just the way it is, guys. But uh, if it's news to you, obviously, you know, it's, it's quite big news. I think there's a couple of videos on YouTube about this King John guy. Uh, there is still the, several videos about the real King of England, who, who is Michael Hastings. He would be, as I said, it would be King Michael the I believe that he is the rightful King of England, but he doesn't want any part of it, and who can blame him? You know, if somebody came up to you and said, hey, you want to be the the king of, of, of England and all that, if you're naive and stupid, you would say yes, because you really don't know the individuals that uh, would be controlling you, would be literally, um, your, your advisors would literally be the ones who are running things, you know. You, you'd have a very limited uh, ability to make this, make real decisions that would change things for the better. Because, because the families, of course, the satanic families and satanic elite are the ones who are in control, the ones who are in power. Not just of the West, but right across, right across the earth. Um, so it's a very interesting concept, the, the King of England, but mate, it's a little bit of a puppet show. So what's your thoughts on it? Thanks a lot for listening. The Lord bless you. Remember, there's only one king, and his name is Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen.